Okay guys, another Oculus update, and uh, yet again, more problems with frame drops. So this time I'm on V39 and the V40 PTC is also affected. Um, what is happening, what I've narrowed it down to after about three days of troubleshooting, controller tracking with CV1 is causing frame drops. Um, sounds bizarre, but that's how it is, it's happened before, and it usually takes Oculus a few months to actually patch it. So. Thankfully, there's a nice easy fix. I will say um, Oculus Link, I do not have this issue. Um, I can't explain that. I don't know why. Um, whether it's the, the polling speed or some, something to do with a USB bus, I don't know. Um, but yeah, Oculus Link does not have this issue for me. So if you're here looking for an Oculus Link fix, I, I can't help you. I don't have that issue. Um, so what I'm going to show here is exactly what's happening. So Oculus Debug Tools, if you've never used this before, that should be located um, in the default directory. So if you've done the um, C drive for your normal Oculus install, it would be the local disk C, program files, Oculus support, Oculus diagnostics, Oculus debug tool EXE. So it's worth just creating a shortcut to your uh, desktop for that one. And also there's a nice mirror tool in here as well. You can make a make a shortcut to, to bring this up so you don't actually need your game in the way. So I'm using Beat Saber here because I can time and um, see the differences uh, and also feel the difference more, more crucially. is no point in running a heavy game and trying to um, troubleshoot stutters. So with um, the mirror tool open up, I can get rid of this. The the device itself, all the connections are um, checked. So it's shown as USB 3 and that is confirmed using uh, USB tree. This is a very helpful program just to show that your devices are actually connected at the right speed. So I've got the headset on a USB free PCI card. Um, let's fix it in a tech card. Um, the headset itself should be connected as um, it shows a hub. So yeah, um, because I think it's got Bluetooth and stuff built in. So it's only ever working at sort of USB two speed. Um, so that high speed here is like US USB two really. Um, super speed device makes it basically means that um, the device is USB free, but because of the hub, it's only ever working at high speed. That's completely normal for for CV one. And then obviously the maximum port speed is full speed. So what I can do is show the sensors I've got connected. So this sensor down here, again, it's on, on the same PCI card and that is confirmed as a super speed device and it's connected at super speed. So this is crucial. If you're showing high speed here, you've got a problem with your ports or your drivers. Um, normally new motherboards as well. If it's like a gen 3.2 or something port, you might actually find you, you've got issues where, um, doesn't quite work correctly. So you need to check this in USB tree. Um, in the case of like the third sensor I have, that is on a USB free extension, power uh, active extension, but it actually needs to be connected to USB two. So this is again, shown as high speed because it's USB two, even though the sensor is super speed. So that's all confirmed. Everything on the system is hunky dory. Um, I wasted a lot of time doing drivers, uninstalling software, you name it. Uh, get straight into this video. So. The one way you can see this happening, um, uh, you can feel it anyway, but if you bring up the Oculus Debug Tools and go to your HUD, Performance HUD, bring this up. When you start playing in your headset, you see this as an overlay and you'll be able to see what's happening, whether frames are dropping. But it doesn't make sense why frames are dropping when you've got so much headroom. Um, generally, anything above 30% is good to good to use. Um, if you're down, at a, down near zero here, don't bother trying to troubleshoot that. You're out of headroom. You haven't got the GPU power. Um, and again, if you're in reprojection and it goes down to 45, don't try to troubleshoot either because you, you clearly have, no, have another problem. So providing your system was working and this update has started causing you issues. The easiest way to do this, if I bring up the performance profiler, this will show you if you've got another issue. This will show you basically if it's GPU led compositor to blame or the app to blame. And in my case, it's the app um, render queue. So it just seems to be missing its mark for, for whatever reason. Um, so this this is basically narrowed it down what was happening. It's the game, not not my system. So the other one I, I tend to use a lot is this lost frame capture. And this is dead handy because using something like Beat Saber, you can start recording. And what's going to happen is any frame drop to happen now is going to come up and log. Um, but when you load in, you'll see that it's going to have, again, I've only picked up my controls and you can see a frame drop straight away. But what's going to happen is going to log the, um, I haven't got my headset on my head, so you have to bear with me. All right, so if I just start moving the controls around, you can see I've got a bit of an issue that I've got so much headroom and it almost looks like a bottleneck. 
and the frames are dropping. And again, this isn't just because I'm being an idiot. You can be as smooth as you want. You can sit for a whole song without your controllers in your hand on the desk and you won't have a frame drop. So that's how I narrowed it down to it being the controllers. We can see what's happening now. This frame logging tool is, is catching everything and it's telling me exactly what's happening. So I'm going to stop this because again, it's quite clear that it's, um, it's going wrong. I'm going to pause this. So in the frame capture tool, if you enable um, the save screenshots, obviously disabling asynchronous save space warp because if um, you do drop too much and it goes into 45, it's not really going to help you diagnose anything. So you can see that it's an 87.2 pattern. So something inherently wrong. It's not it's not the headroom that's been an issue. It's not a system missing the mark. It's something something going on within the runtime because it seems to be the same two it's a pattern of two, one, two. You might have a, a really heavy section. The one where it's dropped 32 here. I look at the screenshot, I can expand that and I can see that these are all just loading screens. So you can just completely ignore that. It's completely normal to get a, a stutter um, just loading into level for the first time. So that's telling me I've, I've got basically dropping frames and I, I know what the issue is, it's, it's clearly being logged. So what I can do is just stop the recording. Um, that would just give me a fresh list when I change this. And the fix for this is so easy. Um, I don't know why this is um, an issue in the new update. So I'm just gonna open Task Manager. I'm gonna find uh, details and I'm gonna get the game I'm running and also OVR server. So I'll start with OVR server and just, it doesn't really matter which way you start, but I'm gonna set the priority to high and make sure you click change priority. And you also, you need to do the game you're running. So doing just OVR server isn't gonna work. Just doing Beat Saber isn't gonna work. You have to do both. Again, Beat Saber could be something different for you. It doesn't matter what game you play. It's the Oculus software that has an issue at the minute. So it's just a combo of getting the game and the VR server to work on the same page here. So I've changed both of these. I'm going to start recording again and I'll restart the level. Or I could just continue, it doesn't really matter, but I'll just use a restart as an example. So you can see the frame dropping as I load. That's completely normal. And again, it doesn't matter what I could do with controllers. I'm not going to spend the whole minute going over this. But if I just give it roughly the same time, be able to quite clearly see that it's completely fixed everything's nice and smooth again apart from my controller going wacky as i'm out the guardian but even still absolutely no problem so again I, I tend to use beat saber because you can use a song start logging before start playing see any improvements uh with free sensors if you disconnect the usb2 sensor it seemed to be better it didn't drop as many frames um and it is a big list. It's not like you've got one frame every now and then. It seems to be um, putting itself into a pattern of about um, five seconds apart. I think that was me on the, the Guardian system, sorry. But yeah, it's, it shouldn't have any do any drops, apart from when you're being an idiot and putting your hands below your desk. Um, but yeah, everything seems hunky-dory here. So take that as the fix. Um, I don't know why it's doing it again. I'll just pause again. Again, you see the, the two frames I dropped. You can see it was at what point it was in the game, but this this won't happen. Um, it's only just a situation where I'm recording. So, yeah, it's, it's it's a bit annoying that this is happening again, but at least it's quite easy to fix, and you won't necessarily wait to, need to wait months for Oculus to pull the finger out and and update it again. So, if you're not already use these tools, it, it's sort of invaluable, basically, to tell you what's going on. I didn't have a recording going here, but this let me know that it was the it was a game to blame, not sort of the system. If it, if it was a system, the Oculus software itself um, missing the mark, it would show up as compositor latency. Um, that wasn't the case. It was it was something being fed into the game, which is again it makes sense where you look at it as a tracking. The tracking is not updating quick enough. I don't know whether that's um, down to latency, um, and that maybe explains why Link hasn't got a problem because the latency is higher on, on Link. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this isn't a this isn't a fix all situation. This is just to fix this issue on V thirty nine and V forty. So I hope that helps. Um, you can get rid of ev everything on your screen if you've done this, and it makes no difference with super sampling. Um, but one little tip: if you are going to super sample, which obviously if you got thirty eighty Ti and a CB one, you obviously are. Um, change the adaptive GPU performance scale. Just set that to off because you don't need it changing stuff for you. Um, this won't happen in game. If I change that to 2.0, uh, close my game, do this in Oculus Home, and then if you need to, you can restart as administrator. Probably going to crash the game here, but yeah, you can you can do this with the get without the game run. That that applies to super sampling, but make sure that that's off because that can cause issues as well where it tries to adjust your headroom. 
but yeah, I hope that helps this. Obviously, a stupid issue and a stupid fix, but don't do anything to your system. Um, obviously, if you have got monitoring software and a, and a 30 series, that's going to cause issues on its own. Um, that's still a problem on the 30 series card. So like any hardware monitoring in the background, um, especially after burner, um, that will probably cause you frame drops. So it's worth disabling all of that stuff, any RGB software and even the RGB itself, um, if you've got issues with that. Um, that's, it, this fix isn't linked to that. It's just simply how how this has been introduced into new updates. So hope that helps. I'm going to leave the video there. There's not much else I can tell you. Um, yeah, just have a nice smooth experience again. Cheers, guys.